Hey there everyone, so there is a new text to image model that has appeared called Seed Dream 4.2 and you can see in artificial analysis, this is ranking in the first place when it comes to text to image and also in image editing, you know, even surpassing Nano Banana. But the irony is if you head over to LM Arena, here you can see it is sitting in fifth position and if you head over to image edit in LM Arena, you can see it is in second position just below Gemini 2.5 flash image preview which is Nano Banana. So what is the truth? Is this new model Seed Dream 4.0 better than Nano Banana? Let's find out. So today we'll be using this model in Replicate. Replicate if you don't know is a platform will, where you will find a lot of image models and video models and many open source large language models. It is kind of open router but for you know multimodal applications. If we just talk about the features you can see that you know this model generates in 1k resolution, 2k resolution and also in 4k resolution. Absolutely insane. Even if you talk about aspect ratio there are a lot of aspect ratio that it supports unlike Nano Banana. So these are some points which are actually very good in Seed Dream 4 and Nano Banana doesn't have it. It always picks up the base image that you share and you can't specify aspect ratio as far as I can see in AI Studio or any other platform where Nano Banana is present. Having said that, let's first get into image generation and after that we'll be looking at image editing so the first prompt is you can have a look we are sending this set of words because according to some you know this results in very realistic images so we have this image number and after that we are saying close up face portrait of a man so let's run this in both and let's see the responses so now you can see we have the generations from both models and right you can see here is the difference between these two models just have a look at this the quality is actually very high on seed dream 4 so seed dream 4 is towards the left and nano banana is towards the right you can see Comparatively, Nano Banana's response looks a bit low res. On the other hand, the response from Seed Dream looks of very high quality. You can see each of the pores of the person is visible on Seed Dream's response, whereas that is not clearly visible in Nano Banana's response. Let's look at some other generations. Next up, we are checking the creativity of these models. You can see the prompt is create a logo for a tea manufacturing company called James and Johnny. I'll set the aspect ratio to one this time. Let's hit send in both models. Okay, we have got the responses. So you can have a look. This is the logo that Seed Dream has created. It is James and Johnny written and you have this kind of logo towards the top. Not that creative but uh, let's look at Nano Banana. Nano Banana on the other hand you can see I think has done a very good job at it but the problem is you can have a look at M and F. They are written in a different font and if you look closely you can see right at the place of F it has two fonts one over the other. I just can't say anything yet. Let's actually try some more generations. Okay now we are again asking create a logo for a construction company called Robin Constructions. So let's send this and let's see what the generate. So we have the generations guys and it is actually very hard to pick which one is better. If you look at if you look at Seed Dream's response towards our left you can see it has written Robin construction there is a big R over there and you know have this big crane a building down there and all in all it looks good. It has created kind of an emblem. On the other hand Nano Banana actually given as a bird because you know Robin is the name of a very popular bird. So so Robin has a helmet over there and a spanner and it says Robin constructions. So it's actually pretty hard for me to pick which one is better so i'll give a point to both of them let's move on to other questions okay everyone so now we are trying to generate very complex images you can have a look at the prompt the prompt says a man in light blue shirt and brown pants is proposing a woman who is in a white gown in an atrium of a mall many people have gathered around them including an old man in pink dress and golden glasses and child clapping at them who wears a yellow shirt with stripes and blue shorts there is a man sitting who is playing a pink violin he is in a suit and has a red hat distant stores within the mall are visible. One store reads the name Sumatra, other says Primrose. So let's see how this model do. And if you're enjoying the video so far, please hit the like button and hype this video so that more and more people are able to watch this. Okay, we have the generations. First, we'll look at Gemini. So first, we have a man in light blue shirt and brown pants. This is exactly what we see. Proposing a woman who is in white gown in an atrium of a mall and this is indeed an atrium. So many people have gathered and you can see there are many people. There is an old woman with the pink dress and golden glasses and the resolution is kind of low but uh, maybe it is kind of golden. Then we have a child you know looking at them and clapping. We have a yellow shirt with stripes exactly and blue shorts. There is a man who is sitting and playing a pink violin. You can see the violin is present but but the bow of the violin is not present so that is a kind of hallucination and we said he has a red hat and uh, I'm not sure if this is a red hat it looks more pink to me 
it could be slightly towards red but it's not exactly red distant stores within the malls are visible you can see there are distant stores and if you look at the names you know one reads sumatra and you can see it says sumatra right here and other is primrose and you can see it says primrose over there so there are some things that it is getting wrong especially the violin and the hat let's look at seed dreams response so this is what seed dream has generated i have to say this is absolutely terrible in my opinion because uh, you can look at the faces it is very distorted have a look at these faces completely distorted the face has not been generated correctly you know the old woman should have a golden glasses and uh, this doesn't look real to me it feels like someone has just drawn a glass over there the kid has the stripes and yellow shirt and blue pants that is nice if you look at the text as well text is also not that clear you can see it is kind of smudgy lines and not very sharp if you compare this with you know nano banana has generated and right here you can see instead of primrose it is written pimrose so r is missing here the violin violin is also not correctly generated we do see a red hat but it's not clearly generated maybe this could be the resolution what i'll do is i'll you know step up to 4k and let's generate it in 4k and see if things improve so okay we have got the updated generation it's and it feels like it is pretty much accurate so now you can see the text is very clear you can see sumatra over there and primrose have a look at him he's playing a guitar and, and a violin so I, we have just mentioned playing violin but he's also playing guitar for some weird reason and also in the prompt we said that the man is sitting but here he is not sitting and it is he is standing the phases are now much clearer so that is nice to see if you look at the glasses of the old woman i don't know who wears these kind of glasses but but this tells one thing if you want good generations i think you should go with 4k or 2k resolution with this model because at lower resolutions it can kind of get weird also i asked to one boy and here we have two boys since we have given seed dream a chance i want to give another chance to you know nano banana to see what it does so we have one more generation from nano banana we can see the store sumatra and uh, primrose is right over here i'm not able to exactly read what it's written but uh, we have the old woman in pink dress and i think golden eyeglasses we have the kid as well striped yellow shirt and shorts pink blue shorts we have the man with the red hat violin and everything is correct in this generation one thing i like about sea dreams response is just have a look how high quality it feels you know let me just focus on you know these two people the man and the woman just compare the generations you can see sea dreams response feels very crisp and clear but i think consistently nano banana gave us a better response it was more accurate to you know what we wanted so i would give this win to nano banana because we are checking consistency over here we have already tested image quality where this model is very good you know sea dream so now let's try some things that you know these models actually struggle a lot with so here we are asking a man is writing from his left hand on a sheet of paper and holding a phone on his right hand i am using the default resolution which is 2k let's see who gives us the correct response so now you can clearly see that sea dream has generated what we asked for a man writing with left hand and you know holding the phone in right hand on the other hand you can see nano banana was not able to give us a response in the correct way you can see the man is holding the phone in his left hand and writing with the right hand i thought that you know no model was able to actually get this correct but but sea dream is getting it correct let me try once more with nano banana and again you can see the man is writing with his right hand so i think comparatively i will have to give a win to sea dream and one thing you can also observe is you know the responses that sea dream is giving is very is looking very aesthetically pleasing whereas nano banana's response look a bit unreal i hope that makes some kind of sense you know just have a look at these two images which one looks more real to you the one that comes from sea dream right so we'll be showing this image to these two models and we'll just say make this thumbnail coding themed let's see who gives us better response also i have set the aspect ratio to match the input image when it comes to sea dream let's generate okay we have got the responses and now you can have a look sea dream has actually changed the background stuff you know and has added keyboards and coding commands and stuff like that on the other hand nano banana has actually changed the colors we didn't ask it to change colors we just said make this thumbnail coding theme you know i know it is ambiguous but we are not always sending very detailed prompts to be and you know these kind of behaviors you will be seeing many times from nano banana you know you will ask one thing and it will do another thing so we'll have to give this win to seed dream so i have this you know 3d render of this building 
what will ask is you know make this real so let's see what they generate so i'm saying make this 3d render a real life image so let's send this and let's see what we get so now you can see actually seed dream has given us some generation whereas nano banana has given us the exact same image back let's compare this version and then we'll go on to the other iteration if we compare seed dreams response you can see it almost looks real and there doesn't seem to be any kind of issues there is one issue that you know this design over here is actually different Whereas in the image that we gave to this model, it was of the same material, you know, that has been used in these railings and stuff. You can see it is brown here and brown here as well. Whereas here it is used some kind of different stone. But anyways, it is at least better than, you know, giving us nothing. I mean, Nano Banana just generated the same image. Let me give it one more try to see if anything comes out. So no, nothing. It is not working. Let's try something else. So what we'll do is we'll use the same image now and we'll ask it to generate an architectural plan of this building. So I'm asking generate the architectural plan sheet of this building. So let's see what we get. And here you have it. We have the architectural plans. Let's look at each response one by one. So this is what Nano Banana has generated. You can see it has generated the front elevation, side elevation. So front and side elevation both are same. Nothing is different. It has also generated a floor plan. I'm I mean, it would be a bit, a bit difficult for, you know, someone who has not looked at plans. But if you look at the exact plans, they are not accurate because you can see there is an empty space over here and a tree. But we don't see it like that. You know, this tree, the only tree that is present in the image is actually a bit far from the building. It's not in its place. Whereas here you can see a big tree is mentioned being in the area of the building. So that is not the case. So this plan which is which it has generated is wrong. Talking about the front elevation, it looks accurate. But, an, but again, you would not see, you know, these many lines. You would only see, you know, like this. Because you are talking about the front view, right? This will not be visible. So not an accurate response, but it's okay. Let's look at Seed Dream's response and after that we can you know decide again here you can see it has gone with a different format if you look at this elevation which is i think a perspective view it is very accurate to what you know the original image was but it doesn't have any kind of front elevation or like so anything like that and even if you look at the plants i mean they are absolutely random stuff clearly we only have two floors and i don't know why it has generated four different plans for it so i think personally in this particular problem i would say that you know nano banana was actually better so i'll give this one to nano banana so this is going to be interesting we are sharing this thumbnail with the models and we'll ask we'll actually ask you know to generate a vertical thumbnail for this we'll say change the aspect ratio to 16 is to 9 and make it a vertical thumbnail gpt image one did a very good job at it the good thing about seed dream is we can select the aspect ratio we want so it will be generated in that but how good is it it's something to be seen so let's send this to both models and let's look at what we get my bad i actually typed 16 is to 9 instead of 9 is to 16 so we'll run it again so now you can see we have the generations and if you look at the response you can clearly see what i'm trying to say seed dream you can see was very successful at creating a 9 is to 16 aspect ratio on the other hand gemini has just given us the input image so this is surely a problem with nano banana some kind of hack that many of you guys have said me we can send a blank 9 is to 16 aspect ratio canvas in that scenarios it will give you a response but i've tried that and it kinds of you know instead of recreating the whole image it just pastes different blocks of it and that looks kind of ugly so i mean when it comes to aspect ratio this model is going to be very good aspect ratio is going to be the strength of this new seed dream model let's move on to another problem so you have already seen this if you have watched my video on nano banana so this is the image of sam altman and this is a meme you know based on gpt5 we are sending both of these images and we are asking replace the man and the meme with sam altman interestingly what i'm doing is i'm sending the meme image first and sam altman image in second position let's see if this works in nano banana so let's send this to both models and look for the responses so now you can see both are not able to you know give us a working response if you look at seed dreams response it does look like you know the top one is sam altman but the bottom person is completely different and you you can see it has it has actually added a gpt5 text right above his head i don't know for what reason on the other hand nano banana if you look at the bottom image he does look more like sam altman but uh, the top image is completely unchanged so you can see we still have a lot of room of improvement and stuff that future models can actually improve so comparatively i would say that nano banana is better because you know it didn't add this gpt5 text on the top by the way we generated in 2k maybe bumping up the resolution may fix the issues who knows so we'll generate one image in 4k and we'll see we have already tested this previously and bumping up the image resolution did 
help out but uh, let's see if that happens between 2k and 4k and i think no that didn't help you can see the person is completely different let's look at other prompt so here you can see i'm sending the image of the office lady you might be knowing her and also sydney sweeney and we will be asking both are taking selfie together so let's see what we get by the way i will change the resolution to 2k because that seems to be the sweet spot let's see okay we have the generations and you can have a look if you look at nano banana over here the office lady is i think consistent but uh, sydney Sweeney is not over here I mean the face has been changed whereas in this image you can see the angle is different and even though the consistency is spot on I mean this is absolutely insane this is a very good generation guys faces of both of them are pretty accurate so I will give this win to see dream let's move on to another prompt okay so this time around we are using the same image but here we are saying both are having coffee at a coffee shop so let's see what kind of generations do we get again you can look at the generations when it comes to nano banana person is actually changed I think particularly Sydney Sweeney her image is completely changed maybe because the model is kind of censored I guess but that didn't happen with Sam Altman's response so I'm not sure what is going on over here but I have to say that the generations look very accurate have a look at this what Sea Dream has generated. Again, you can see both faces are exactly like the source images. So an awesome response. So now we are trying interesting thing. You can see how we have this hat and you know, it says thought for three seconds. You are absolutely right. Take a close look at this. You know, these foldings that we have. The thought word is not very straight. We have this curves and foldings and same is true with right as well. So what we are saying is we are asking it to actually, you know, change the text on it. The text now should say that search for three seconds. You are absolutely wrong. So let's send this response to both models. Let's see what we get. Okay, everyone, we have the generations and now you can see Nano Banana has given us a very good response. So this is the reference image towards my left and towards my right is the generation from Nano Banana. You can look at this curve that we have over here right nano banana has actually preserved that curve and the search is going over it also you can see this right word is changed into wrong and it seems that the model actually had preserved the curvature that we have maybe there is some difference but all in all it's very close to what we wanted let's look at sea dream so this is the reference image we'll close this and we'll Look at even you know Sea Dream has actually preserved everything. Nothing is messed up or anything like that. And actually the source image was having some kind of blur. You can see your is actually kind of blurred in the source image and in the image that we have got as response the quality is actually more which see which shows that this model can be very good for upscaling but one thing we have to see is you know the wrong is not correctly rendered you can see n is kind of missing you can see n is missing whereas nano banana was able to preserve it so both have given very good response if you have to nitpick i think nano banana was better because it didn't mess up the n in wrong so what can we say clearly guys both are giving a very tough competition and picking one out of them is very difficult because both mess up sometimes and both give good generation sometimes if we talk about image quality clearly seed dream is way ahead it can generate high resolution image and also the quality of the images just looks cinematic and and seems like they are straight out of a film grade camera creativity is also you know when we were generating the logos both generated satisfactory logos and there was nothing lacking so i will clearly say guys the performance is very comparable but some things that are clearly better in seed dream is its support for different aspect ratios and its support for different quality generations because you know aspect ratio is a very big thing and getting things correct in nano banana is very very difficult one thing that is in favor of nano banana is when things get complex then seems like seed dream you know kind of messes up the background elements whereas nano banana is very capable at you know keeping the background elements are consistent as well so which one is better according to me i think sea dream is better because the performance is anyways equal in both models so for raw performance you can pick any one of them but you know the support of various aspect ratios qualities and stuff and you know its performance in image quality i think sea dream is the winner i hope this video was helpful to you if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and please hype this video so that more and more people are able to watch this take care of yourselves and i'll catch you guys in the next one